Hello everybody, welcome back to Teach Me to Science. My name is Saren and today we're going to be talking about the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. First I'm going to define the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and each of its parts, then I'm going to tell you why Henderson-Hasselbalch is useful, and then we'll do a practice problem. The Henderson-Hasselbalch equation states that pH equals pKa plus the log of A minus over HA. pKa is the negative log of the Ka value of the weak acid HA. The fraction A minus over HA represents the ratio of conjugate acid-base pair. In this equation, the pH represents the pH of the buffer solution created from the specific acid-base pair and with a specific ratio of acid-base pair. The pKa used must be specific to the weak acid used in the conjugate acid-base pair. Now that we've defined the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, let's look at all the different situations where it's useful. Henderson-Hasselbalch is very useful for estimating the pH of a buffer. I say estimating because even if you use Henderson-Hasselbalch to calculate the exact pH your solution should be given a specific ratio of conjugate acid-base pair, in the lab nothing ever works out perfectly. So it would be very unlikely that your calculated pH would represent your measured pH in your lab. Another use for Henderson-Hasselbalch is figuring out how to make a buffer. Henderson-Hasselbalch can give you the specific ratio of HA to A- needed, which you can then use to calculate the amount of conjugate acid-base pair needed to make your buffer. Now let's do a practice problem using Henderson-Hasselbalch. Given the pH and the pKa, we're asked to find the ratio of conjugate acid-base pair. If we plug the pH and the pKa into our Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, we can solve for x, which I've labeled as the ratio. 3.75 minus 4.72 raised to the 10 will give us our ratio of conjugate acid-base pair. If I plug these values into my calculator, I get that the ratio of conjugate acid-base pair is 0 0.1072. Because this number is a decimal, it could also be represented by a fraction, which means that there is more conjugate acid than there is conjugate base. That's all I have for today's video on the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Bye!